Good morning guys, welcome to Steph AB TV. In this video, we're gonna go and see the, well, the brand new Julia My 20. Now behind me, you'll see a Julia Quadrifoglio. There's a reason for that, because I wanna quickly show you the interior of this car, and then we're gonna go and board an aircraft and make our way over to Italy. Now the thing with the Giulia range in general, and I should probably point out, the car we are going to see is not the Quadrifoglio. The new Quadrifoglio isn't due to be launched until, I believe, March. Um, but what we will see is uh, a completely different center console. Now, one of the things that I've always said with the Giulia and, and, well, I guess Stelvio and just the Alpha interiors in general is that they're lacking a little bit on the, um, definitely on the infotainment. Let's go and enjoy ourselves because this is going to be very very cool well alfa romeo have definitely outdone themselves here flipping out look at this kind of lounge that we've got for ourselves let me show you something very cool first of all um this is incredible i've just made myself a coffee but you search your coffee through the ipad and it comes out of a tap i mean that's insane there is mr petrol ped in the audi s4 there's the julia quadrifoglio and guys what a view what a morning i have to start by kind of just expressing how grateful I am for these kind of opportunities. And I obviously have to say thank you to you guys. I, I want to kind of bring you a little bit behind the scenes to show you what these things are like. I mean, this is very cool. I have never flown out of uh, well, Farnborough Airport on a charter flight before. So this is kind of, this is a really big deal for me. And whilst there might be other people here on this trip who this is second nature for them, I have to say massive thank you to Alfa Romeo because this is such a cool opportunity. Now, there is a reason why we are flying out of Farnborough Airport. And that is because um, if we were to go directly from somewhere like Heathrow, to Bari, there's no real direct flight. The only real one there is with a kind of one hour stopover in Rome, and there's just a massive risk that we'll miss it. So Alpha have charted out a plane for us to go from here to Italy, to Bari, which is um, gonna be insane. I'm not sure what the weather's gonna be like. Um, obviously, by now you're seeing this, so the embargo would have lifted, so I can talk to you guys about the Julia and Stelvi in the interior, etc. Um, but yeah, one of the things I guess from a press perspective is um, there are some trips where we can just film, get the content out and all is groovy. Uh, other times there are press embargoes, so we have to be, be very stern. We've got to sign non-disclosure agreements so that we won't leak or share any of that kind of information. But I mean, guys, if I just turn the camera around, I mean, how cool is that to be up and close to all these planes? Ah, oh, look who it is. My compadre, Mr. Petrol Fed, dude. Mate. How are you, mate? You all right? I've had I've had worse days, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, I was just saying earlier on, this it's incredible. The opportunities that we get is unbelievable. I'll have a latte, mate. Oh, stop it. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I mean, that is coffee goals right yeah. there, isn't it? I'm really excited to see how big the plane is we're flying. Yeah, I know. I think it's going to be very big. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Is this our little bad boy? Mate. <laughs> this is uh, very, very cool. Here we go. Oh, oh very nice. Good morning. Welcome on board. Oh. oh wow, this is uh this is lovely. Look who it is down the end. Mr. Jim. How are you, sir? Oh hang on, let me uh, stop the camera. Hello mate, you look rather comfortable over here. So you see as part of the stuff that we do. Uh, we're on a flight now, and whilst most of the time you'll be relaxing, uh, I am reading through this huge press release. Now, not only am I doing that, but Pete is actually editing a video. I am. GT2 RS, baby. Welcome to Italy. <laughs> Welcome to, to Steph, it's a two-way road. Yeah, go yeah. for it, send it. Here we go. <laughs> we, we have a habit of meeting on uh, trips in Italy, mate. We do indeed, and we have a habit of the sat navs as well, so uh, I can't remember how you turn that down. So just, just bear with us this morning and land in Italy around about one o'clock, I would say. Turn right. Shut up, hold on, I'll just do some. Huh. 
Sorry. Radio? Yeah, no, it's gone now. Okay. Fine. Okay. So we'll start again. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's start again. So, engine remains the same. Where the real kind of meat, if you like, where all the Gucci stuff comes, it's straight on that way. Uh, yeah, auto, yeah, auto shuttle. Auto shuttle, do you want to take the camera off the back? Oh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I'll do it very quickly. Go for it. You can take my one as well. Yeah. This is the world of YouTube, guys. This... <laughs> as Pete runs around. <laughs> Come on. It's like we've just. Quickly. It's like we've just robbed the bank. <laughs> Send it. Still running. Send it. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's one o'clock in the morning here out of Italy, Puglia to be exact. Um, I wanted to quickly show you my room because it's a bit ridiculous, if I'm being honest with you, with regards to its size and what it actually is. And uh, then I'll give you a flavor as to what tomorrow looks like as well, kind of really kind of bring you behind the scenes of what this looks like. So, but I have to show you because it's cool. And even if none of you care, it's a really good memory for me to keep. So if I show you here, I mean, to put it into perspective, uh, this is not a room. Uh, this is a house within a village which they've turned into a hotel. Uh, it's very complicated. I'll show you in the morning because it's too dark. But we've got a room down here with a table. Cool. We've got the downstairs area. Again, really, really pretty with regards to kind of the styling and that. I, I really do like this. So nice. So, so nice. Uh, and we've got a... TV section. I mean, this is like a house, man. This isn't even a, uh, a hotel room. Um, I've got some very cool stuff. So I've got something here from them, which kind of gives you the program. Uh, you can probably see here, you know, dear Steph, thank you very much. I've got an Alfa Romeo bag. Very, very nice. I've got a downstairs balcony, but you can't see anything out there. You'll see something more from upstairs. Uh, we get a downstairs bathroom again. Very, very cool. There I am. Hey guys, uh, downstairs shower. Uh, now, if I take you upstairs, I can show you the upstairs area. Now, I mean, can you can feel the concept behind this. I mean, this is supposed to be a hotel room, but actually it just feels like a house. And actually, from the view of my bedroom window, is one of the most coolest views ever. So, here is, here is the bedroom, as you can see. Got all my stuff down here. Another little nice sofa. And the bed. Uh, we've got the other bathroom here before I go outside. Um, again, I really don't need this, but a massive thank you to Alfa Romeo because they have absolutely smashed it. And another shower area. Oh, let's get out, guys. Let's get out. Here we go. So it's raining now, but if I get out, look at this. Now, how is that for a view? An old school Alfa Romeo. Julia Sprint. Absolutely gorgeous. So this again is still part of my room, which is more like a flipping story apartment. It's crazy. I mean, I don't even think my house is as big as this room. <laughs> uh, but I want to show you the marketplace. Again, look at this. Very kind of Game of Thrones feel. I don't know how much of that you can see in the dark, but I'll show you again in the morning so you can have a bit more of a look. But it's just so beautiful. And if I come around to the other side, you can also see all the pool area. That's all parts, you've got individual villas as well. It's genuinely just bonkers. <sighs> what a day. So, uh, what's been happening? So we had dinner, we had the press launch, really, really cool. Um, it was really good. These, these kind of parts of the night are really good because you can use them for networking. And I do a lot of networking with a lot of the guys here. And it's just a chance to meet people as well. So I had a really good, good few discussions with uh, a chap called Ben, who is the head of uh, sales for uh, North America for Alfa Romeo, and also Scott, who is the, the main man for design when it comes to the product. So these are all kind of opportunities to to do some talking and some mingling, and it's um, yeah, it's really cool. But right now I need to get myself ready, to get to bed because I now need to get five hours sleep because I need to wake up tomorrow morning. I'm meeting Pete tomorrow 
down by the GT, um, the Julia Sprint at 7 a.m. because uh, we need to finish filming the video from today because we couldn't do that because of the darkness. Uh, and then we need to get in a Stelvio, film some of the Stelvio, and if we've got some time, then it'd be cool to film some content with the um, the Julia Sprint. It's all very go, 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 but um, I've had a really good time. But for now, I'm gonna get some sleep. So, uh, good night, I'll see you in the morning. I mean, come on guys, tell me that that doesn't look very Game of Thrones-esque. How cool is that? So that's this angle. Obviously, I'm starting the day with my espresso, which I've completely demolished. Oh, demolished already. But yeah, so view here. And um, if I take you over back to the pool area, which I couldn't really show you yesterday. There it is there again. And um, yeah, it's... I mean, oh, that was my courtyard. <laughs> it really is completely ridiculous, but completely amazing at the same time. It is such a beautiful complex. So what's the plan for this morning? Well, um, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that Pete Petrolped is awake. Uh, we spent quite a bit of time downstairs yesterday uh, evening, I would say probably until around about one in the morning. Yeah, I had a really good sleep and I'm looking forward to finishing the video that I tried to start yesterday. Um, I would have ideally liked to have completed it yesterday, so today I just focus solely on Stelvio or on a video on maybe the, um, the Julia Sprint. But that was not the case, so I need to pick up from where I left off, so I need to watch some of the footage to see what I covered, what I didn't. Yes, it's all very, very busy. So one of the things with the kind of My20 range is you have a whole new addition with kind of the number of models coming and it's actually becoming a little bit confusing because now not only do you have things such as Super, you've got Veloce, Veloce Ti, you've got Sprint, uh, we are getting the Sprint model in the UK which basically are kind of different trim levels so you know if you're thinking of you know you go for a Super you might get something like cloth seats versus leather but anyway it's very confusing, Don't you guys don't need to know that right now but what you do need to know is what's kind of different from a visual perspective and really and truly other than the colour from the outside uh, there isn't a whole lot if i'm being honest with you however i don't think there needs to be a whole lot because the julia itself just looks absolutely gorgeous and in this color i think it looks absolutely stunning now the kind of main difference obviously is the um i like the fact that we don't have a number plate on this as well because it just makes it look even better and if you look at that front end look how aggressive that looks and this is of course the base model so you can imagine what a orca quadrifolio would look like now this is cool take a look at this 1959 1900 ss Priceless car this, absolutely priceless. So guys, it is the next day, um, and this is kind of the, I guess the car part where we get the keys given. I mean, there is no technical term for that. Basically there's a board with a load of keys and you get given a car. Uh, so we picked our one up. Um, we've got the uh, Orca Julia, which is very cool. You can see Pete in the background filming away. If I zoom in on him, you see this. Here you go. A man hard at work over there, but we're going to take this out now. And uh, what we'll be doing is uh, going down the highway, trying some of the cruise control stuff, finishing the videos as well. Because uh, what we haven't done is uh, try all of the autonomous features. Uh, and yesterday it got really dark really quickly. So, um, my video, anyway, it's a complete mess when it comes to so when I come to pulling this together from an edit perspective, it's going to be really hard because not only have I filmed yesterday's content, I'll be filming today's stuff. But in between, I've also filmed a little mini video on uh, the 1950 SS, which is a very rare car. So, you know, I need to film that because that'd be really cool for you guys to see. Uh, what else have I filmed? I filmed, uh... no, I think that's it. I'm just, just confused. <laughs> look, at, look at the amount of cameras in here, man. That is hilarious. So I've got my cameras here because we're about to film a section which will actually be used in both mine and Pete's video because uh, it is kind of the autonomous drive element. So I've got my cameras. Pete's got his. Pete's driving the Stelvio now. Fun and games. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we're actually just enjoying chilling for the time before the cameras turn on. And what we're doing now is we're going making our way back to the hotel, as in the first place we stayed. The first hotel. Yeah. And then so, to the airport. And then to the airport. So it's back on the plane. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, bummer. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Life has jumped on. Yeah. But if you haven't seen, um, if you haven't seen my kind of review or kind of first look at the Stelvio uh, and New Julia My 2020, then uh, 
I'll give you a quick update whilst I'm here, why not, right? So uh, new, new infotainment system is the key uh, change that we've seen here along with a completely redesigned center, center dashboard. So uh, if you really want the details, please I'll leave a card up here and go and have a look at the video. Because uh, I do interesting. do you get it sometimes that, you know when you do a behind the scenes vlog mm. and someone goes, you didn't talk about the car at all. All the time. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm gonna. This isn't the review, people. Yeah, this isn't the review. So we'll call it out. This is uh, this is the behind the scenes of how this kind of stuff works. I'm so getting off this. <laughs> We're heading home. Hello, thank you. Hi. Here we are. Hello again. Heading home. And just like that, we are back at Farnborough Airport. <laughs> and as you can see behind me, uh, that's unbelievable. I mean, this doesn't normally happen. And of course, I am going to show you this because I, I can't believe that we took a charter plane out to Italy. It was absolutely incredible. So uh, I'm now done. We've already got our luggage. Uh, I need to kind of get through to the car. I've got the Julia Quadrifoglio there, so I'm going to jump in the car and then head home. Um, and that will be the end of what a press trip looks like. So um, I hope that kind of gives you a bit of an insight as to what the behind the scenes of everything we do is. Um, bit of a mixed match with regards to how the content is filmed. But um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. If you did, make sure to smash the like button as I casually walk through past a whole load of planes. And my name is Steph. You guys have been awesome. I will see you all very soon on the next one. Thank you guys. Bye bye.